guys, just wanted to make a really quick video explaining tapping into a reverse light and how to do it correctly so you don't get that symbol. The reason that this symbol appears on high-end vehicles is because they have a voltage detector. It's kind of like a computer. And when it detects a drop in voltage, it trips it and it tells you that there's a problem with your reverse lamp. So I'm going to show you how to tap into the reverse wire correctly and avoid this symbol right here. What you want to do is turn the vehicle onto position number two. This can apply to any sort of vehicle, in this case it's a Mercedes. And you're going to put it into reverse. That way the vehicle is not on and you don't have to worry about yourself getting run over. Because I don't want to be responsible for that. Don't get run over. The back of the vehicle. And in the back of the vehicle I have a simple part here from an auto parts store that's really easy to use and it's not used enough. It has this sharp metal point here that feels for positive and in there there's a light bulb and what happens is you plug the negative part into a grounding point. In this situation it's our grounding bolt over there. Now what we're gonna do is test it. Here we have our hard wire and the vehicle is in reverse so by simply going right here we should be able to get it to light up. Sure enough it lights up. So that's working perfectly. Now, the camera, that one best camera under $30, does not need to be constant powered. And the reason for that is because it uses radar. Radar gets hot after a while of it being constantly on, and your image will begin to distort once it gets hot enough, and then eventually the image will black out till the camera cools back down. So how do we resolve this issue? Well, if you got a camera that has infrareds, a camera that has backup lights, a camera that has any other accessories besides the camera itself, you want to run it to the reverse wire. In this case, I have disconnected the supply of power that's going to the tail light. And in here, I have a whole bunch of wires to choose from. Well, what you can do is you can take this tool and touch the prongs and with the reverse being on, the only one that should come on is the one where the reverse cable is at. There we go. In this case, it's the very last one. That is the silver wire with the yellow stripe. So if you're driving a Mercedes C300 and you want to wire it so the camera only turns on when it gets power without tripping it, you're going to have to tap into this wire right here. Now how do we do that? without tripping the computer. So the correct way of doing this is you're going to need a wire tap. What this does is the cable is going to get put right in here and then you're going to line up the teeth. Let me get the camera a little bit closer so you guys can see. You're going to get the cable in there just like that. You don't want to be too close to the unit itself. You want to be a little bit farther back. And then you're going to press it in with a pair of pliers, just like this. You're gonna press it in. Just to get it started. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna close the lid on it, just like that. Now what you do is, when you're closing it, you take the pair of pliers again, and you squeeze on the back side. And you'll feel it click. You can do a simple little test by giving a little pull just to make sure it's in right. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the second half of the tap, which is this piece right here, and it's gonna go right into it just like a plug. Now if you want to make sure that it's getting power right now, you want to go ahead and put the vehicle back into reverse and then touch it. So the vehicle is now in reverse and we're going to go ahead and make sure that we're getting our power. See? So the tap is successfully getting power. I know it's kind of hard for me to get this in there but you can see it's lighting up with me hitting it. So when we plug this in and turn the vehicle on, we should not get any error codes regarding 
the uh, the bolt. So let's go ahead and try it out. Doing that has removed any of the error codes. So simply by tapping it correctly, you can get an error-free display. Now what causes the error to come up in the first place? What cause errors to come up in the first place are improper disconnection of this wire. That could include cutting it and then using a butt splicer right here. Or cutting it and then using a tri uh, connection on there. Anytime where you cut this wire fully, you're losing a percentage of copper that is within that wire. The computer on this Mercedes-Benz is actually very sensitive. It can pick up when the bulb is blown. So we're talking very minor amount of voltage drop. If you cut this wire fully in any way, shape, or form, you're gonna get that message to come up. So the correct way of doing this, if you're gonna use a camera that has infrared, radar, sonar, any other attachment besides just a plain Jane camera, this is going to be the approach you're going to want to do. This is also a great approach to those of you that are running this on different vehicles that don't have access to a fuse panel readily available next to the brake light. This is probably going to be your way to go. And it's very simple test to be done. Just look for the bulb, unplug the bulb, or look for the wire harness, unplug the wire harness, and then just test it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this here because this is our old power supply that we're running to our constant and we're going to run it over here. We've stripped our wire back using our nails since the wire is thinner than any of these cables. Then we're going to fold it and then stick it all the way through. Once you have it all the way to the end, you'll be able to crimp down on it. So once you have it inserted all the way, you're going to grab your tool, grab towards the end while maintaining the position of the wire, because the wire is going to want to slide back on its own. Then you're going to press down firmly. So now you're just going to go ahead and give it a little tug just to make sure the wire is in place, and it is. It's in there perfectly. So what you can go do now, plug your unit back in, and then you can go inside the vehicle and verify that everything still works. So there we go, it's in reverse, the camera boots up perfectly, and this way, anytime we turn off the vehicle, it will not overheat. Also, you will not be getting any codes whatsoever for trips because you've done it correctly. If you guys are unaware of this channel and have stumbled across it in any way, shape, or form, check out this video over here where I did a best of backup camera and then you guys have a chance of winning this camera right here. Just simply hit the subscribe and leave a comment in that video. Also, please hit the subscribe channel button over here because that helps me out big time. Without having a fan base like you and subscribers, it really changes everything. You guys motivate me in every way, shape, or form. So thank you so much. Take care, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll be uploading a full install video of this on Saturday.